Today you will learn how to get Microsoft Office which includes popular apps like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, Access, ETC. You're going to get this for free without paying anything. I'm going to show you two methods how you can get Microsoft Office for free. And the first one uses the browser. Whether you're using Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome or any other web browsers, it doesn't matter. This works on Windows or Linux or Chrome OS or Mac. Any operating system you are using, this is going to work for you. Type in the URL www.office.com. This is the URL of the website you want to go to. On this website, you're going to see two options down here. You're going to see the sign in option and the get office. This is paid for. You have to pay for this. You have to subscribe, install the offline version on your local machine. But we want to get a free office, so we're just going to sign in here. Sign in with your Microsoft email address. Then you click on the next. Also enter the password for your email address. If you don't have a Microsoft account, don't worry. It's very easy to create an account. If you'd want to see me creating a video on how to create a Microsoft Outlook account like this, drop the request in the comment section. So here, because we have this account, just click on that. I'm hoping you also have that. So just sign in. This drops us off on the office.com website. Just like I said, I said I was going to show you how you can get Microsoft Office for free. This is the free way to go about it. Now you can start creating documents like Microsoft Word. If you want Microsoft Word document, you just click on this here. It's opening Microsoft Word, but in the browser, this looks exactly like the offline version but this is on the web so we have all the menus on top here the title bar the menu bar the ribbon with all these different groups that we have the and you do also here this document can be named you can just click there and you can start naming your document so like that you can just click on enter and the document name is changed and in this document we can start typing whatever i want you can say this is the heading of the document and you can apply different styles to this if you want an, an, a different one you can also come here maybe use this one and so you see the changes happening here you can also center the text highlight it come here you can center it you can also put it to the right if that's what you want you can do different things with this you can increase the size just like in the local version of microsoft word all the typical functionalities of microsoft word so let's go back here a little bit behind and when you are here, you can also see Microsoft Word from this side. When I click there, it's going to open, you know, the home, the start page for Microsoft Word. And here I can see different things. I can also see some templates. If the ones I have there, you know, I don't like any of those. I can see some templates from here for free. All you have to do is just choose the template of your choice and start using it. Here you also have these tabs here. Down here we have the recent opened documents that will appear down here. If you've shared some documents with other people, you're also going to see them here. You also see the favorites. Also have Excel. When you click on Excel, you get Excel start page. Here you can start working, creating blank workbooks. So for instance, when you choose this one, here it is opened Excel and this workbook is open. And we have all the things that we would expect to see here, just like in the offline version. It's just like Microsoft Word, here you can also choose to name your workbook and it's going to be named. Just press enter, then the workbook name has changed. If you had maybe these values in here and you want to find the sum, you can do maths in here, say sum and some should come here just like in the offline version and so we'll give it this range and press enter and we'll be able to see in the formula bar the cells that were used in the range you can do maths in excel now let's go back and try powerpoint click on powerpoint here and also powerpoint opens the start page and here you can choose the templates you want to work with or you can work, work with a blank uh, PowerPoint presentation. Now, one of the good things about this is when you come back here on the home, we'll see the recent work on documents from, from all the different apps you opened. We opened Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and the Excel here. And so the documents that we created will show down here under the recent tab. You can also do different things. You can open this, you can share this, you can unfavorite, you can hide, you can download this file. You can also delete it from this list. Let's say you have a document that you created offline and you want to open it in this online version. Here you're going to see this the upload button. When you click on this, it's going to open the computer browser where you have to choose and select the file that you want to upload so you can open it in this online version. Okay, so another thing is let's come back here. What we want to do, let's open this 
document here so now when this opens let's say we manage to do different things here we change the logo and we put our own logo there now we want to save it just like on the offline version of microsoft office you just click on the file here then you come to save as when you come here you have different options if you don't want to leave this on the cloud you can just download it as a word document or as a pdf and all these other formats here now what you should know here all these apps that we're talking about here microsoft word presentation which is powerpoint excel forms and all these are available online so you need the internet connection for you to be able to have access to these otherwise it's not going to be possible for you to be here you need the internet connection as long as you have the internet you not have any problems with this this is free and you can have access to this website from anywhere now if you want to download this microsoft office offline you see the install button when you click on this install apps you're going to see this dialog box that says go premium with microsoft 365 and this is going to allow you to install it offline on your computer but you have to pay for it we also have this by microsoft 365 and it's going to open this dialog box where you see different plans you can choose from you have the basic the personal and the family plans uh, this is yearly and here if you want to pay for it monthly you can see how cheap this looks you have one dollar ninety nine cents personal plan you have five dollar ninety nine and family seven ninety nine so you can buy this by just clicking on the buy and here you enter your you know the details to pay now at the beginning of the video i said i'm going to show you two methods the second way is where you open the start button here to search for office you're going to see microsoft 365 office this is what you want when you click on that it's going to open and here they're simply will coming me to this and so i can just click on these three buttons here and if i want to see the plans i can do that but here i'll see the similar look like the one that we have on the online version for you to have access to this you don't have to open a web browser like the way we did for us opening this here all you have to do is just click on the start button and search for microsoft office here when you click on these three dots here you're also going to see other apps that are just hidden on this list of apps that are here and also here we have these options here for you know installing microsoft office locally and also buying just like on microsoft office website when you ask me i actually prefer using this one because this one is straightforward and it's going to show me both uh, documents that are online and the ones that are offline try these two and tell me which one you like in the comments so that's how you get microsoft office for free and this is very simple it doesn't matter who you are you can get microsoft office for free without paying anything if you want to see all the apps in the online version here on the website you can just click on the apps here and you'll see all the softwares you have access to we have word excel powerpoint onbook onedrive outlook teams and the clipchart and you know we have calendars also down here we have editor all these things are new and you can use any of these for free without you paying anything but if you want the offline version for this that's why you have to pay i hope this video is helpful and i hope it was informative if it was please leave a like on this video subscribe for more videos like this and also if you want me to create any video about microsoft or anything please leave the comments down in the comment section thank you for watching one more time leave a like on this video subscribe for more videos like this and see you in the next one